السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ایٹ دی آؤٹ سیٹ آئی وڈ لائک ٹو پے مائی گریٹیٹیوڈ ٹو دی آرگنائزرز آف دس کانفرنس اینڈ سو انٹرسٹنگ یٹ چیلنجنگ اینڈ ریلیونٹ ٹاپکس فرام دی ریلم آف میڈیا اینڈ کمیونیکیشن ان دس ریگارڈ لاہور گیریزن یونیورسٹی اینڈ یونیورسٹی آف دا پنجاب ڈیزرو مائی اسپیشل اپریسیشن اینڈ ہول ٹیم آف بریلینٹ اسکالرس ہو ہیو پارٹیسپیٹ ان میکنگ اٹ ٹو ریچ ٹو دس پوائنٹ I personally feel highly privileged and honored to be among the speakers of this wonderful conference and among the amazing young and experienced scholars though through this recorded message. But before we move further, I would like to clarify certain very important terminologies that I might be using in my, in my lecture today or in my talk today. The first term would be ecosystem. What does it mean? Ecosystem is primarily used in biology. to designate a community of living organisms like plants, animals, microbes in this conjunction uh, with the non-living components of their environments like air, water, minerals, soil, etc. to be interacting as a system. Whole media ecosystem debate started with Marshall McLuhan's introduction of the term media ecology in 1964. which looks into the matter of how media of communication affect human perception, understanding, feelings, and value, and how our interaction with media facilitates or impedes our chances of survival. The word ecology implies the study of environments that structure, content, and impact on the people. Uh, for example, to understand the media content of a particular culture you have to be familiar with a variety of factors such as language traditions political climate etc you should also have access to the internet as it is the primary form of communication technology today so in this way you become part of an ecosystem that is foreign to you yet firstly becoming one very important component of your own media ecosystem We are living in Pakistan, but love to watch Hollywood movies. So you need to have knowledge of their value system to better understand the message and know-how of the language. Similarly, uh, we have another term, which is, of course, very important to understand. This is traditional media system. This term was, in fact, is very simple and linear in fashion. I mean, when we talk about a traditional media system, we normally have three very important components like television, like newspapers. and radio so linear system means that i am when talking once talking about television it means the television then channel and the viewers similarly newspapers means the papers and the readers and when we talk about radio it means that we are talking about various channels and their listeners similarly media ecosystems what these are media ecosystems are complex combinations of print broadcast digital and social media that work together to create a self referential information system similarly we have another very important term that we might be using in in, in in the later proceeding of today's lecture this is about digital media ecosystem that is in fact a group of interconnected information technology resources that can function as a unit digital media ecosystems are made up of suppliers customers trading partners applications third-party data service providers and all respective technologies Similarly, social media ecosystem is also very important to understand and that is about the accumulation of different social media platforms which integrate information contexts and help their users to engage with each other. New media ecology, I mean that would be in fact my major thrust in the entire rest of the uh, talk, that is in fact based on feedback between a medium and an environment. Media receives and processes information and gives output to the environment. Environment processes the output and gives new information to that medium. Now, uh, the major thing that I was supposed to talk today was to talk about the opportunities and the challenges that might, you see, accrue out of uh, this, uh, uh, this new media ecosystems. So I would be, of course, first discussing the opportunities because once I will go on opportunities, I feel somehow lopsided when discussing the uh, problems that are associated or you can say the challenges that are associated with the new uh, media ecosystem. So first I will be discussing uh, opportunities and you will forgive me that if I am appearing to be a little lopsided towards uh, 
uh, you see the fallouts of uh, ecosystems that we are now confronted with and living in. So first, my focus would be on opportunities. New media ecosystem has proven to be the biggest media development shift from press to the contemporary integrated and uh, interactive media systems. New media ecosystem has provided enormous to the extent of uncountable opportunities for individuals of every society to reap the benefits of contemporary social, digital and new media systems. Generally speaking, there are four key areas of opportunities in the contemporary media ecosystems that are generally important for us to understand. And these four include engagement, knowledge, access and of course variety of different channels that are available to, to our reach and to our access. Given the modern media systems, we can improve the efficiency of the economy and business by providing actors more and better information which can make decisions easy and improving the stability and reach of the contents and the products that we are trying to uh, people uh, be trying to sell to the people. Similarly, it has of course direct uh, uh, customers with marketing campaigns. Uh, similarly, this is also very important to understand that new media ecologies in fact are helping us to promote new products and services, build new brand awarenesses, similarly uh, personally interact with the existing and the potential customers through various means of communication that are available in our access. Similarly, we can very easily measure the referrals from your social media activity to the sales and to the sellers. Our social interactions and people environment has also been facilitated by new media environment that we are interacting with. People have a voice. This is also very important to understand as an opportunity that people have a voice and they have increased civic participation and facilities to create communities. We also now have improved knowledge as how work gets done. Productivity may be boosted and enhanced flexibility for workers and the employers. We see job opportunities in the freelance and gig economics in roles that you don't have been able to previously see some 15, 20 years back, anything from the marketing to executive roles to the medical. We can facilitate education and lifelong learning to build and source the skills of the future. Uh, so from individual level learning and business opportunities to social level interaction has become very easy and greatly facilitated in new media system which has never been so in the past. However, uh, new media ecologies, uh, new media uh, ecosystems have also posed some very serious challenges to the humanity and developing countries like us. Uh, though challenges can be categorized into some areas like challenges for journalism, media organizations, individuals, state and regula regulatory mechanism. However, Capacity of time does not allow me to expand my horizon of the challenges. Hence, I would like to put some of the very important challenges to prick your minds and helping you initiate research on those areas to further understand and unpack the fallouts of new media systems for our society. Some of these challenges are contemporarily the lines between a truth, a fact, propaganda, misinformation and disinformation have been completely blurred. In this regard, it is important to note that you can, that you see is, what, what you see is the real goal. And that is not essentially to make you believe something is absolutely not true. Most of the times, the goal is to just have people question, frankly, everything that comes across. A word in which everyone is questioning even the most basic facts and having a lack of belief in the fundamental truth is a daunting and, of course, a very vulnerable place for any free society. Next is that it has become quite comfortable for mobilizing, uh, or you can say it has become quite comfortable to mobilize certain communities for harmful purposes against the society and country through propaganda and fake news spread. Similarly, by selecting what information reaches to which users Media can now alter human decisions and make uh, or pose risks to the civil society. Um, on the other hand, the transformation of work brought about by media may also increase inequality and lower productivity. On the other hand, 
very important point this is to note also that media consumption may facilitate bullying harassment and social defamation in contemporary times some other uh, fallouts are you can say the negativities that are associated with the new media ecosystems are we are in fact uh, uh, falling prey to new uh, media systems that in fact talks about the excessive media consumption may increase vulnerability to addiction and harmful mental and physical health that may include overload i mean information overload uh, you can you can say that people are getting more information than they desire and some kind that kind of thing would create information fatigue among the individuals as well i mean you sometimes feel that you have less information about the things uh, that you should actually have because once you are exposed to the bundle of information that that appears on appears on media as a result of any such tag that you put on google so what happens you you, you come up with a lot many things that are there but uh, you know very few among them so that kind of situation creates a kind of fatigue on the individuals similarly in, in intrusion and invasion in the personal life of people of course caused by uh, personal media connections that that is also very very important and create some kind of mental and physical health problems uncertainty of course is of course another very important thing which is in fact continuous and very unpredictable change in the social media application requirements today what we are using of course tomorrow we would have something else the data that we have said in today's uh, software may, might not be able we will, we might not be able to in fact open up in next couple of months time because of you see very fastly changing media environment that is in fact make, making things very uncertain and unpredictable so benefits of social and digital media for young children are very limited and when used extensively and without of course parental guidelines are the state guidelines similarly quality of journalism has also become very problematic as local news deserts where conglomerates generate astrotroph journalism for the people and national journalism outlets that propagate what looks like news but is actually a propaganda so we are unable to uh, make a distinction between them on the other hand protecting copyrights and intellectual property rights also have become a challenge information manipulation in this uh, modern media ecosystem has taken shape of a business now there are a lot many lobbying firms that in fact manipulate the information and of course deceive the people and create certain perceptions for the benefit of some of their masters uh, one very important thing or you can call it as a challenge for us uh, in, in this whole system is that is war of attention that has in fact replaced the fundamental media function of educating the masses that used to be there in the past similarly waging wars on the people on the minds of the people through hybrid and fifth generation warfare tools has also become quite easy dear friends owing to all these problems it has become imperative now to increase media literacy among our people governments to frame regulatory mechanisms for social media we should not only be limited to the social media contents but also to the organizations once they start operation in your land and from an alien platform of course i would like to apologize for uh, stretching my talk beyond this uh, beyond my given time and hope it has helped you understanding the problem my thanks to the conference organizers for taking me on board to have uh, my take on such an elusive issue indeed